Hi, Dave Taylor here, and I'm in my hotel room here in Vegas, still just wrapping up from the Consumer Electronics Show, and I did something I realized people probably wouldn't know how to do generally. I actually hacked into the hotel TV so that I could actually watch my own movies off my iPad. So, how did I do that? First thing is, I had the right gear. So, this is an iPad Mini. Now, you could do this actually with anything that can feed video. So you could do this with your computer. Most modern PCs and Macs also have an HDMI connection. So, next step is, you need an HDMI cable. Now, you'll notice, in addition to the HDMI cable, I also have the HDMI adapter with the lightning connector. So, that lets me plug this into my iPad Mini. Now, I could also plug this into my iPhone if I wanted. So, that would work too, as long as I had video content, or of course could stream something like Netflix. The other thing I had this time, is I had my own audio cable. Because televisions have a headphone out, so if you have a cable you can plug into, you can then plug in something like a nice little portable speaker. Now this is the Soul Republic slash Motorola deck, and I adore this thing anyway. It's very nice, good, solid sound, super easy to charge and to um, pair. So I use this anyway, but I have an audio in, that has an audio out, I have the wire, so I can do all that. Now here's the challenge. The challenge is with these televisions, mostly they have a control box on the back that's part of the way the network works here at a hotel. So if you can figure out how to get to another input, it generally ignores it. Now, apparently I have um, <laughs> modified this TV by simply using it. I'll show you in a second, I'll spin the TV around, but um, most of these seem to come from the same vendor. This is Panasonic, and on the side there's a bunch of buttons. I can't really show them to you, because even if I could move the TV out, you still would barely see them. But TVs have control buttons on the side in case, I guess, you lose your remote control. So they are thinking this through. So here, if I go to Input, you can see this HDMI 1, 2, 3, component, video 1, video 2, and even PC input if you wanted to do that. So TV is the default, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually hook it into HDMI 1. So let me spin the TV around and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this controller. So with any luck it won't fall on the floor. These little stands they have actually are remarkably flexible. So I'll try to zoom in here a little bit. but you can see there's this huge box right here and so the cable comes into the box and this is actually from Sea Change International so it's very positive on their part so a cable comes into the box and then it comes out of the box and goes into the television and this thing's hard hard connected so there's no way to take that off but you don't need to because that's the TV input this TV has HDMI 1, HDMI 2, component in, video in, audio in, PC, digital audio out it's a standard HDTV. It has lots of options. But all we need to do is there's also this control cable that looks like a phone connector. So all you actually have to do is pull out the data connection and now you have control over your television. So that's really the thing that doesn't let it actually go to different inputs. So with that in mind, all I now have to do is take my HDMI, remember where I plug it in, that's HDMI 1, and then I'll take the audio, and there's a little connector here that says audio out. Sometimes they might be on the side, like here, and they might be labeled headphones. So I will also plug in to audio in on this, and then this connector goes into the iPad. So kind of a lot of moving parts, but really it's not crazy bad. So this is all done. So now I'll spin it around again. Oops, let's do it this way. And now I'll just change inputs to HDMI 1. And I won't play a movie because I don't want to get into any issues of licensing here. But as you can see, this is everything that's on my iPad. And you're wondering, well, why is it like this? Turns out if you actually play something, it will take up the full size of the screen. Let's see if I can go to somewhere more interesting. Um, I'm not sure what I can legally show you right now, but take my word for it. 
This is showing you the orientation of the screen, and now you can't turn the screen around. But as soon as you were to play any video content, and I will note, you can stream Netflix. You could get anything that you can get on your iPad. Generally, you can mirror on the TV. So that's the whole deal. And what I would have been doing is I've been literally leaving the speaker hanging. And the reason I've been leaving the speaker hanging like that is so that the people in the room next to me don't have to hear what I'm listening to. Um, and I have been watching some movies late at night while I've been working and catching up. And you know what? It looks great. Works great. And when I'm done, all I have to do is plug that wire in in the back and we're good to go. So this is Dave Taylor suggesting that next time you're in a hotel room and you want to listen to your own or watch your own content, all you need to do is load it up on your device or on your computer. And then these televisions are quite capable of being very good second screens and you're good to go. Just remember to put it back when you're done and no harm done. So, Dave Taylor and I'll see you maybe at the next hotel, but certainly in the next video. Thanks.